Coming up on Hands on iOS, I am going to show you some of the new messaging features available in iOS 14. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether employees are working in the office or remotely. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by LastPass. Allow your remote workforce the ability to do their best work securely without jumping through hoops. Visit lastpass.com slash twit. Folks, iOS 14 is here and there are loads of new features. One of those places where there are new features is the Messages app. The Messages app has some fun new stuff to check out. And so I wanted to show you what's going on there. Let's take a look. Let's start. First things first is we launched the Messages app in iOS 14. And you can see I've got two conversations here, one with myself and one that is a group message. The first thing you need to know is that Messages now supports what is called a pinned conversation. You can pin up to nine conversations. So you may have lots of different conversations taking place, but there are some people that you speak to more than others. And so you wanna have those with easy access right at the top. So I'm going to hold my finger down on one of these conversations and swipe to the right until I feel a little click from the Taptic engine and you see the pin move from the left over to the right. That will let me, if I were to let go of my finger, go ahead and pin it. The other option is to simply swipe to the right a little bit and then tap on the pin. But I kind of like that full feature, so I'll swipe all the way over and then let go. And now that conversation is pinned to the top. I can pin conversations with just one person, group messages, everything in between. Pinned conversations let you access those first and foremost. And when a message is sent in that conversation, let me go ahead and pin this conversation as well you can see that the last message from them shows up as a little bubble, a little speech bubble above their head. And then tapping and holding on that conversation and choosing unpin will remove them from the pin. Up next is mentions. Mentions is a way to make sure that a conversation that's taking place uh, actually reaches out to a specific person. It's a setting that you have to enable, but I do wanna show this. so. I can hop into the hands on iOS chat here. And as I start to type in iMessage, I'm going to type in at and then start to type in my name. And you see how it went from black to gray there as I typed in that last letter. When I tap on that gray uh, message there, I can see that my name popped up. And if I were to hit that, it changes it into a mention. And if that person has mention, uh, mention notifications enabled, then they will be able to get notified that they are uh, being kind of called on. So the idea there is that you may have group chats where, you know, people are talking and talking and talking and talking, and it is uh, not something that you want to be notified every single time for, but you just want to be notified when you are actually being brought up. So let me show you how to turn on mention notifications. We'll swipe out of the messages app. We'll tap on settings. We'll scroll down until we get to messages. We will tap on messages. And then we will scroll down until we get to mentions, you can see there, and make sure that notify me is toggled on. As soon as that's toggled on, even if a conversation is muted, you will get notified if you are mentioned in that conversation. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by LastPass. Now with 25 million users and 70,000 businesses, it's no surprise why they are the award-winning number one password manager. They help you transition your remote workforce. Single sign-on manages employee access and a centralized view, so IT always has insight into who has access to what from where. LastPass has won eight awards this year. You don't have to take just our word for it. LastPass speaks for itself. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to find out how they can help you. That's lastpass.com slash twit. Now, the next thing is the ability to set group photos. So up to this point, you could give a group a name, but that was the extent of it. Now I'm going to tap on the hands on iOS chat. I will choose info, 
And when I do that, it's going to pop up contact information. So I'm going to switch away the, the view really quickly and kind of help you follow along with the process from there. We'll tap on info at the top and then you will see an area that shows change name and photo that is right underneath the group name. So I'll tap on that. And as you can see, up pops the name, Hands on iOS Chat, with an X next to it. If I tap on that X, I can give the group a new name. So let's call it HOI Chat instead. Then I will tap Return. Now, that is something that you could already do. You could give a group a name, but what you couldn't do before is instead of using a uh, the, the photos of each of the people or the multiple people that are in the conversation, you can actually set up a photo for this group chat. So iOS will suggest some options to you. And since it's called a chat, that, that emoji there is perfect for this. But I could take a photo, I could add a photo for my photo library, I could choose an emoji, uh, and in some cases I can use a Memoji. So here there are loads of different options. There's the Memoji options. I'm going to go ahead and choose that bubble and choose assigned group. Now this group is, instead of having those uh, actual avatar bubbles to the left and to the right, it will use this as the name. So then we back out of there and you can see that pinned at the top is HOI chat with this bubble instead of the uh, visuals of the avatars of the people in that chat. And the last thing that Messages allows you to do in iOS 14 is inline replies. So that is one of the biggest problems that I personally run into when I'm having a conversation in a group chat. There may be something that you miss. You may be doing other things and you come back and uh, a lot has been said and you want to reply to something specifically. So what you would want to do, and I'm going to go to my conversation uh, where I send links to myself. So for example, these gluten-free wonton wrapper recipe, and you want to respond to that directly. You could normally just type a message in and say, oh yeah, gluten-free wonton wrappers sound good, but that was a message that was sent like three or four days ago. If I take my finger and I tap and hold, let's get that in the shot there. On that message, you can see it says reply, copy, and more. I choose reply, and now I can say, yes, GF wonton wrappers, can't wait, exclamation point. And I send that message. Now that message is shown as a reply directly to that bit of information. This works for texts, it works for links, it works for anything that is sent in a chat and lets you reply. And if you, you'll see if I tap on that one reply button, I will see the reply conversation that takes place here. Now, one last note about that. What if somebody is not running iOS 14? What are they going to see? Well, instead of seeing this, uh, they will just get that message as the most recent message in the group conversation or in the, the single back and forth conversation. So inline replies is a great way, as you can see here, to respond to different things that maybe you missed or that you want to address directly. There are loads of new features in iOS 14, but I did want to touch on messages today. And you can be sure that I'll be touching on lots more from iOS 14 as we continue to explore together. Folks, I want to thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of Hands on iOS. If there's a specific iOS 14 feature or feature set that you want me to look into, let me know. Hands on iOS at twit.tv. Uh, of course, you can send your thoughts and questions, etc. there, and I'll be sure to check those out and respond to them as I can. Uh, please do subscribe to the show. You can head to twit.tv slash HOI, where you can subscribe to the show in both audio and video formats. Uh, you can also head to YouTube, youtube.com slash hands on iOS, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell, all those things that you have to hit on that site in order to be notified as soon as the episode's available. Until next week, I'm Micah Sargent, and this has been Hands on iOS. 
I'm Jason Howell, host of Tech News Weekly here on Twit.tv, along with my co-host, Micah Sargent. Each and every week, we talk to people who are making and breaking the tech news. It could be journalists writing amazing tech stories. It could be experts. It could be the sources of the stories themselves, developers, you name it. We bring them onto the show, and we talk to them about why their story is resonating with the world. You can watch and subscribe by going to twit.tv slash TNW. Make sure you do that and you won't miss a single episode. We'll see you there.